This might be one of the most influential Americans you've never heard of. This is Dominic Ng. He's the president, CEO, and chairman of East West Bank and has been for a long time. Now, East West Bank sounds like it could just be any old bank, but Dominic Ng has made it the go-to bank for Chinese and Americans to do business with each other. Dominic Ng has met with some of the most powerful leaders in the world and Obama. Not only is he the head of East West Bank, he's also done a lot of other cool things. For instance, the Biden administration has appointed him the chair of the Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation Business Advisory Council for 2023. I'm going through the alphabet to buy one stock per letter. I was starting to get worried this week because I wasn't finding any companies I really liked, but I'm happy to say that after looking through 214 companies that start with the letter E, I found East West Bank. I bought $1,001.59 of East West Bank stock for $51.11 per share. I hope you subscribe to hear about the next letter. To invest in a bank stock nowadays, you need to look for two things, how well the bank is doing, and at least one thing the bank is doing that makes them special. To tell if a bank is doing well, I look for a couple numbers. The rate of money they make from interest, this should be around 3%. The money they spend to run the bank compared to the amount of income they make, anything below 50% here is pretty good. And the amount of money they make compared to the amount of money they started with. I like this to be over at least 1.2%. If we use East West Bank as an example, we can see that they do well on all of these things. East West Bank is a great example of a bank that does something different than other banks and does it really well. It was founded in 1973 because there was a need for a financial institution in the Chinese American community. Since then, East West Bank has become the bridge between Chinese and Americans wanting to do business with each other. And they're special because they actually have a license that allows them to have local branches in China. East West Bank has a focus on serving Chinese Americans, so it would make sense for one of the key metrics we look at to be the number of immigrants from China to America. The bank was founded in 1973, and by 1980, there were roughly 370,000 Chinese immigrants to the United States. By 1999, that number had roughly tripled, and East West Bank started selling its shares to the public. If you had bought the stock at that time and held until 2021, the price of the stock would have gone up about 10x, and the number of Chinese immigrating to the United States would have doubled again. Dominic Ang being put in charge of East West Bank wasn't luck. This guy's decision-making skills are really good. He was born in Hong Kong and came to America to attend the University of Houston, which was one of the few universities where he could get in-state tuition by putting in enough hours for the school as a tutor, but he chose to be a student athlete tutor so that he could make more money. Then he got a job at one of the few companies where he would be able to earn his American citizenship. And while he was there, one of his clients asked him if he could be in charge of running investments for them in the US. One of those investments was the purchase of East West Bank. And he did such a good job that one year later, they put him in charge of the whole company. East West Bank's great performance was not easy to make happen. In fact, without Dominic Ng's leadership, it's not clear that it would have happened at all. After the Asian financial crisis of 1998, the people that owned East West Bank needed to sell. And Dominic Ng had only 10 days to raise enough money to take the bank public. And he was able to come up with $238 million. Then in the 2008 financial crisis, he was able to get the bank into a strong enough financial position where they were able to acquire another bank that effectively doubled the size of East West Bank. There are many ways to guess the value of a stock. For East West Bank, we can look at a couple of simple things. One, we can look at the total asset value of the bank. If we sold all the assets, we would get about $42.46 a share, which is only about 83% of the price the stock is selling at now. Second, we can look at the price that some of the top people, including Dominic Ang, recently paid for the stock. Just last month, they were paying somewhere between 41 and $44 per share. I was not able to get quite so good of a price, but hey, 